there's definitely some bits of metal. Something's grinding away. Something's not right in there for sure. Oh, wow. Oh, no bueno, eh? No bueno. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 364 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. I think Bumblebee is like behind us. <laughs> We're here in the town of El Zamorano in Honduras. Last night we camped here at this fake campsite. So the owner is actually building at the moment like a big um, hotel but it's uh, not finished yet and we rocked up at his place and asked him if we can pitch up the tent and he's like yeah yeah no worries and uh, yes we are in the middle here <laughs> of all his construction uh, buildings yeah we'll have a bit of a walk around before we leave here to um, show you guys what he's built and what he's building but today we are going to be making our way north I don't have a map of Honduras just yet, but I can tell you guys that first we are heading through the Honduran capital, Tegucigalpa, and then we're going to be making our way from there up to the north coast, to the Caribbean coast, to a place called Tela, which is supposed to be super beautiful with beaches, and it's the Caribbean. And it would be like a really, really cool experience just to swim in the Caribbean Sea. I can't wait for that. So we're just having our coffees this morning. Um, the only breakfast that we've got with us um, is a pack of cookies. <laughs> we've kind of run out of everything else. So we definitely have to get some food supplies today. But there's also a dog who sort of perched himself in front of us. And um, we're trying to like quietly eat the cookies so he doesn't notice. Because every time I like rustle the packet, he sort of looks over like... Oh, oh. Because you can't have cookies because they're chocolate, so... Yeah. Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. Anyway, he was barking the whole night, so naughty boy. <laughs> the navigation says it will take us six hours to arrive in Teller. It's already 6.30 and we still have to pick up everything, so better hit the road, let's go. So Bumblebee is mostly packed up and we're going to have a little walk around this place. This guy's property is massive. The first thing that he built, he told us in the 90s, was this place, which is called Casa Estrella, or the Star House. And the whole thing is like built on this elevated columns, and it's actually in the shape of a giant star. So actually the room here upstairs is just one huge star room. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. Wow. And it's got like this whole underneath bit. We asked him like, what is this giant space for and he's just like oh parties meetings whatever and he's got like a bit of a forest over here so we're gonna go have a look huge place wow look the whole walkway here we couldn't see this yesterday when we arrived because it was already dark but he told us like yeah tomorrow make sure you have a walk around check out the place because i think he's really proud of everything he's made here. Hello! How are you going? Hey. So here is like the, it's like the newest bit that he's building. And this is just a crazy construction. Look at this. It's huge. I mean, this is like a resort that he's building. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? Fine. Good. Yeah. We just walked around the forest bit here. Yeah, yeah it's very nice. In your future, it's a uh, more water. Okay. At uh, the boat. Uh huh. At uh, the fish. Yes. Oh. <laughs> wow. This, this is this one is, is finished. It is. It's young. Wow, it's massive. When do you want to like open this one? Uh, this year. This year, okay, okay. This is possible. Wow. And this is the bathroom? Yes. Wow. Whoa, look at this. I am a lawyer, the first professor. Okay. The first. And second is a nutritionista. Nutritionist? Yeah, and notary. And, and notary and, and builder. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
atrium with nice views. Yeah. In the mountains all around here, look at this. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go. Yeah. Cool. This. Yeah. For small distance. Okay, so business will rent. Yeah. Rent yeah, this area. Yeah. The bedroom. Yep. Beautiful. With a nice view. Yeah. So this will be like the hotel part? People... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, from here you can really see everything, hey? <laughs> nice! Cacalutepe. Cacalutepe. This is the other cerro. It's the Uyuca. Ujuka. Ujuka. For water, for the community. But your water comes from that mountain? Yeah. Ujuka. Ujuka. So at the moment, we try to figure out where the noises we heard yesterday coming from and so far we can actually see here that this rubber thing is not aligned anymore so we pushed it in a little bit but you can see here that it's coming out here on this side so we don't really know like how good or how bad that is or if this is like a quick fix or if this can damage something so actually the host here he called a friend and we sent now some pictures to them <laughs> And they will tell us like how, how bad it is or if we have to um, look for a garage ASAP. Hey guys, exciting news. We finally got our very first sponsor. Yay! <laughs> so we just wanted to take a minute to show you guys this amazing app from our newest supporter, On Vacation Doctor. Just imagine the following scenario. You're traveling in a foreign country, you're exploring the wonders of the world and all of a sudden you get sick panic sets in and you just want to talk to a real doctor but you don't speak the local language. This is where the On Vacation Doctor app comes in handy. This app connects you to top English speaking doctors in any country in the entire world. All you need to do is to input your location and the app will provide you with the name, phone number and location of the closest English speaking doctor. But the On Vacation Doctor app doesn't stop there. It also provides you with the local ambulance, fire and police numbers as well as the local US Embassy address and phone number. But the best part about this app is that it's absolutely free to use for the first six months and then it's only $4.99 for the next six months which is absolutely crazy and super affordable so please guys show your support for our very first sponsor by getting the app for free today you will find the link in the description below not only will you be ensuring your own health and safety whilst traveling the world but you'll also be showing the world what an amazing sponsee we are so guys stay healthy safe travels and now back to the video oh. Thank you so much for your help, Nasri. Thank you, and for and thank you for the tour. Yes, no. it's a crazy place. You have a really, really cool place here. <laughs> I hope we can come back one day. Okay, exit. Thank you so much. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. See you. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot that we had this crazy road to get out. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> Nasri has a super cool place there, but the road to get to it is absolutely, I mean, it needs a bit of work, let's say. Yeah, it's a little bit of a challenge, definitely. Wow, what an incredible place. A really cool find there, actually, because he wasn't even like a campsite. He was like not really open for business. Hold on, wait, oh. just going around here. Okay. 
But he was just like, yeah, sure, you can pitch a tent here, no problem. But when that place is like finished, that giant hotel crazy complex that he's building, yeah. it's gonna be a crazy, crazy place. Absolutely. It's gonna be a luxury five-star paradise. Yeah, dream place. Yeah, it's a big project going on definitely yeah and he's a really nice and kind guy like so kind and so friendly yeah I didn't mention that actually his friend came back to him uh, after we sent pictures over to him and said like oh what's going on here and he actually told us that uh, that part which is sort of coming out some of you guys watching might know already but apparently it's uh, uh, like a gasket to basically keep dust and dirt from going uh, into the with the wheel so it's not like a mechanically important part uh, so it shouldn't really cause us a problem it's just like the rubber is just sort of coming out um, so I might try and push it back in later but the sound yesterday was still quite scary <laughs> yeah and you know we've rooted to a Suzuki shop and garage in the capital Tegucigalpa so we just want to have a double check with them and just show them as well today if they're open uh, it is a Saturday so we'll see and it's a public holiday this weekend but uh, yeah if they're open we'll show them as well um, just to make sure that that it isn't really anything crazy going on uh, nothing that's going to cause us a bigger problem in the future the roads of Honduras eh? <laughs> not very well maintained <laughs> no no a little bit on the bumpy side <laughs> but hey you have really beautiful views from here there's no reason for you to ride fast anyway but you can see as well like our host told us that there is a lot of wildfires going on at the moment and you can see like this hazy view or this hazy stuff in the air yeah yeah it does look really dry here I think yeah. the rainy season is coming in like one month or so. So yeah, it's a pretty dry time at the moment. We couldn't resist stopping for breakfast on our way to Tegucigalpa. And we got a traditional breakfast here. Look at this. We've got some plantain, some beans and rice, egg, cheese, tortilla, this onion as well. Oh my God. <laughs> Not bad, not bad. And this costs 71 lempira, which is about three US dollars. So it's not a bad price for a wonderful breakfast. And some really nice sweet coffee as well. <laughs> Very sweet. Very tasty. Gracias. <laughs> I put like everything in the tortilla. We get two tortillas actually. And look at that. That's just like, it's just crazy. So it looks like we're just coming into the outskirts of the capital of Honduras, Tegucigalpa. By the way, I, I, I think that's how you pronounce it, but I could be totally wrong. And we're only five minutes from the Suzuki garage that we're gonna try and check out. Yamaha, look, they are all closed. Yeah, here's Suzuki right here. Yeah. Um, they do look completely closed. Completely closed. There's actually a fella there, but I think it's just a security. I'll go and ask. Hola. Abierto hoy. Lunes. Okay. Gracias. What day is today? Saturday. Well, that's not too great, is it? It could just be like it hitting on the inside. So we've decided that there's actually uh, more Suzuki garages uh, in San Pedro Sula, which is on the north coast. So we decided uh, just to continue for today. This is about five hours riding to get over there. But if we start hearing some crazy noises again, then um, we'll probably will have to stop again, but we'll see. But yeah, we just can't afford to stay here for two days waiting for them to open. Anyway, we've got no reason to believe at the moment that this is going to cause any bigger issues. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, whilst we're riding through the capital city of Honduras, uncertain if our rear wheel is going to fall off or something, I prepared some little facts about the capital city of Honduras, Tegucigalpa. So this city has a population of 1.2 million people and it became the capital of Honduras in 1880 
and it's actually uh, a twin city so it has a sister city called Comaguela and the two cities are just separated by a river but effectively they are just one giant city the name Tegucigalpa uh, is from the Nahuatl language and it means hills of silver or well, that's the interpretation that historians have but they're not 100 percent sure about it because some people argued that well the local people didn't know that there was hills of silver here so they're not 100 percent sure but that's like the most accepted reason behind the name the two cities Tegucigalpa and Comaguela lie in a big valley area this is probably a pretty good day to ride through the city as well because it is a holiday weekend and it's really not too busy so it's a pretty nice capital city to go through yeah it's luckily today a pretty smooth ride similar to the ride what we had in Montevideo the capital city of Uruguay look at this streets are empty amazing oh look at that wow literally no one was on the road so it's pretty cool if you can experience some big cities on a public holiday because they are not so busy to stroll in the park <laughs> stroll in the park <laughs> so anyway we've got just under five hours uh to reach the north coast so yeah fingers crossed oh oh he was did a little breaking, breaking so hard uh, the town is called Tella and it's supposed to have some really beautiful beaches and there's actually a beach camp that we found on iOverlander so if that works out we should be camping just next to the beach tonight amazing So we're just stopping here at a petrol station and we just had a little look and um, there's definitely some bits of metal coming out from inside this bit here something's grinding away so I don't know what that is but yeah definitely got a bigger problem than just the the rubber because something's not right in there for sure I mean look at this it's like metal we are currently three hours from Teller still so you know still a little way to go one hour later so actually we had one guy here and he saw us like looking at the bike and being like a little bit concerned um, so he recommended us to actually ask here at um, actually an auto repair shop if they can have a look at it and check it out because it's a little bit more concerning probably than we thought and the mechanic here said yes and now he's like just looking at it and seeing how bad it is so let's find out hey don't really want to take too much risk You can see what part's broken. Oh, wow. Oh, no bueno, eh? No bueno. Val. Valinera. Valinera. You can see all the little balls are totally, all totally broken. Ah, okay. So, no malamente mas, no? Sí, todo. Ah, okay. Wow. So do we just need to replace this bolt here or what? I'm not sure. I'm going to ask. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Yeah. It's missing. It's saying that we definitely shouldn't ride to San Pedro Sula, which is another 100 kilometers away. He said we could probably ride it to the nearest town. Okay, so now he said basically take this part into the nearest town and basically see if you can find a shop that's open selling spare parts um, because it might be something that we could just get, bring back to him and if we can find a new one, he'll install it for us. Again, same problem actually that it's Saturday and nothing is really open. So, yeah, fingers crossed and see that there's any shop open who can help us. I found this one place here and we will just see if they have a spare part. Please, please, please. We have a bunch of tires here, a lot of motorbike tires. Okay. It's a. Uh, 
para um, Suzuki Vistron. Look how many different shapes there are. It's like every single motorcycle part is just unique to that one motorcycle. And then when they build a new one, they're just like, let's design everything again. But our taxi driver, he's helping us actually now, which is really nice. No success. We've gone around the town and either everywhere's closed or we've tried a couple of places and they just don't have this specific part. So we're gonna go back over to the mechanic and see if he can put everything back together and then we're gonna ride it nice and slow, nice and easy back into town. And basically we're gonna have to wait two days here until Monday, but it doesn't look like we're going anywhere today. Okay. Okay, so three hours later, we are finally leaving the petrol station and Bumblebee is still rideable, but we've got to take it super easy. So we're heading now to a hotel, which is only five minutes away because we really don't want to ride very far. And yeah, that'll be pretty much it for today. We won't get any further. We've traveled 98 miles today. Didn't get to Teller and the Caribbean coast and our mm. lovely beach camp. Yeah, really sad. Yeah, it's really the worst time for things to go wrong, but you know, that's life. We can't really change anything, so... Yeah, let's just hope we can get our problem solved on Monday. Here we go, this is our home for the night. Hotel Zari. Sulugar ideal para descansa. Your ideal place for descansering. Cool.